Hello, I'm Karen Pereira from Times of India. So lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. Uh, so congratulations on the film. I uh, loved it. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, Gina, uh, playing a person uh, who separates lovers uh, is has very little reward, you know, from the audience perspective. Uh, what made you uh, take on this role of Marion, and um, how was it like taking on the baton from uh, Emma Corrin? Well. One of the things that I was really attracted to when I first read the screenplay is that it's a fantastic premise for drama that you have a triangle of, peop of people who make decisions in their youth which profoundly affect one another. And that link stays with them for decades. And then to understand that one of the characters acts as a catalyst and has the courage to bring those people back together in order to address the past felt like a brilliant tantalizing thing to explore. So that was my initial attraction to it. And it was wonderful to share the role with Emma. She's a fantastic, exciting individual and she's a brilliant actress. And I really thought, what a wonderful challenge. And it was very, I was really lucky because a lot of the 1950s part of the film was shot first. So I could look at a few scenes that she'd already recorded and use that as reference material. But we talked on Zoom and we also talked on the telephone. So that helped too, because we were separated because of COVID protocols. So you mentioned Emma, uh, but was there, what was something special that you loved that uh, Harry and David brought uh, you know, to their characters? And uh, how do you, as you know, a, an actor who has seen so many uh, films before, been in, been a part of this, how do you react to all the negative uh, reviews coming coming uh, you know by the younger actors' way? You know, I think it's really interesting whenever you're, you're part of a piece of work, particularly before it's been released, that it's best to try and just hold a steady course because there are, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna see this movie because Harry's got such an amazing, dedicated fan base and they are extraordinarily uh, loyal and really adore him and for good reason, he's a very special person and a really amazing performer. And so I think it will be interesting to see what the opinion is and how people take it when it's released. And hopefully audiences will really enjoy everybody's work. And I think it's best to try and let that happen because, of course, it's always subjective, right? <laughs> uh, so speaking of Harry and his uh, fan base, uh, a lot of Hollywood movies have great traction in India. Uh, do you love any Indian movies or some movie that stuck with you uh, that you would like to share? And also there's a lot of Oscar buzz. Uh, what are some of your favorites for this season? Oh, do you know, this is a, a really brilliant question, but I haven't managed to see a lot of movies yet because I've been working and it's always the way. So around about Christmas time, I suddenly think, okay, there's like 50 movies I've got to catch up on. And so usually that's my holiday season is watching films. So I have yet to, but I've been reading stuff and I'm really, really interested to see quite a few of them. They sound amazing. So I'm very, very much looking forward to catching up and seeing everybody's work. Do you uh, have any Indian uh, movies that are your favourite? Um, I can't think of any and my mind's racing. The thing is, what an amazing industry that you have and what a fantastic, extensive I mean, archive, catalog, I mean, it's stunning, it's absolutely stunning. And I had the good fortune, not so long ago, maybe like seven or eight years ago, to work on a film in Mumbai. And it was a huge pleasure. I mean, what a resourceful, amazing, dedicated um, skill set you have there. I was deeply impressed and I love being there. But I need educating. <laughs> Where should I start? Uh, What's your favorite? Anything with Shah Rukh Khan, I guess. <laughs> That's a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, finally, uh, you know, not too long ago, uh, the movie industry was slammed for not casting actors uh, from the LGBTQ community in uh, these movies that 
bring forth their stories. Uh, do you think we've moved past that discussion now? No, I think it's an ongoing discussion. I think we have a lot of discussions about so many elements of life right now, and I think they're all vital and important. And I think whilst we're in a state of discussion, let's say, that there's a, a feeling of a certain amount of flux, like we haven't wholly landed on solutions, but I do hope that any of these discussions bring about opportunities for people who feel that they're underrepresented. And that is something that I'm interested in. Uh, thank you so much. It was lovely speaking to you. It was really nice to speak to you too.